All right, everyone, we are here with the final war map, War 12, at a glance. Um, as a reminder, thank your officers for all the work they put in. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see it continued next season, go ahead and leave a comment or share or follow. Um, and again, this isn't a full-on planning video. It is just an abstract breakdown to give you some matchup ideas. So taking a look at bands, we got Apocalypse, Human Torch, and Ghost. I believe that's what was banned last time we faced uh, this alliance, so nothing too tricky here, um, and, and nothing new, I should say. Modok boss, we got Killmonger, we've got Mole Man with Guardian, shout out to Infamous for bringing that synergy to my attention. Um, I've seen Herc, um, and I'm sure uh, there are a few other options, but those would be the three off the top of my head I would probably go with. Um, Chavez here, Mr. Negative, Mr. Fantastic, Void, S99, plenty of options. We're used to seeing a Mystic there. Tigra, same options as Chavez, just not having to worry about the power gain. And then a White Magneto pre-fight for the heroes that are in that list, so it won't work for Mr. Negative and Void. Um, but definitely could still bait heavies. Um, by blocking him out. Um, Maw here, White Magneto pre-fight. I've seen Spider-Man 2099 used. I've seen Archangel used. Um, I could probably even see Kingpin being used. Um, so here, not hasn't been too common. Uh, Wasp on Stun Reflect. Mole Man probably works. Magneto without parry. Falcon probably works without parry. Um, so a couple options here. Really just have the evade counter and... I just probably wouldn't even stun and bait SB1s here. And then obviously avoid a heavy, but that goes for almost every champ you faced in war. Uh, in Infinity War Iron Man here, we got Void as options. We've got Nebula. I'm sure Immortal Abomination works. Herc, I've seen works. You just kind of play <laughs> unblockable the entire time. Nova here, we got Rolk. We've got CMM. We've got Kingpin. So... And then uh, Guardian here, we've got Magneto probably first, and then Venom Pool, and then uh, Claire or Herc. So pretty common placements, and when it gets later in the season like this, it's pretty much just regurgitate. Um, ne or, uh, uh, Nimrod here, Nebula, Claire in uh, Plagued, you can probably Quake it. So Path 1 here, uh, you can probably get away with... Uh, Claire for the whole thing, or Claire for White Magneto, and then use someone like Mr. Negative S99 or Void for uh, Terax there. You could even use Void over here for um, White Magneto, and then Path 2, She-Hulk Sorcerer for that Magneto, and then Omega Red or Storm Pyramid X for that Korg. Um, could even, no, I wouldn't quake. Is that the parry one? No, that's the dashback one. I would not quake that. And then Path 3... Got Man Thing for Man Thing Claire and uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider for Surfer, and then Falcon, Ball Man, uh, you know any of the uh, bleed champions or ability accuracy reducers for Thing. You could even Quake Thing on that node and not have to worry about bringing a specific matchup, and then maybe you can find a Quake path in Section One. Um, so not too problematic, or nothing too problematic between one through three. Weapon X down here on EMP, you could Quake it. You could probably use Warlock with an Odin pre-fight. You could use Nimrod with an Odin pre-fight. You could use Magneto with G99 Synergy or any other champ on that Synergy team. Um, so a couple of options for Weapon X here on EMP. Moving on. Four through six. Uh, Mephisto here, you could use Claire and Incinerate, you could use Rolk, you could use Void, but you wouldn't rely on the debuffs. Um, could even probably just mow it down with uh, Mole Man or Kingpin, to be honest. Probably just Mole Man and use the counter punch. Um, but just gotta look out for that Incinerate damage from the aura. Um, so that one, kinda interesting. Could Quake it too. Path four, we got Kingpin for spam or Mole Man for spam, and then really anyone for uh, Apocalypse. He doesn't have any debuffs as long as you're not getting hit, so normal go-tos would be Warlock, Doom, any really. And then Path five, Namor, CGR, 
uh, Omega Red for that Killmonger, and then Warlock uh, for that um, Sasquatch. Uh, anyone else for Sasquatch, you'd want to have a reliable heal blocker or just timing on the Petrify. I bet Archangel. No, because I'm Mighty Charge. Don't use Archangel. Um, but there's probably an argument for Mr. Negative and using SB3 and then pass, Path 6 here could quake the whole thing you could use magic for bishop you could use doom for annihilus you could use claire for annihilus um could probably even take bishop down i, I wouldn't don't ignore that <laughs> um but nimrod would probably work for that bishop as well um so yeah and then kitty there you could use doom you could use uh probably Silver Centurion if you can land the heavy, or you can use uh, Nimrod. I've seen Nimrod work there as well. Uh, moving here, seven to nine. Here you got Mr. Fantastic Void, uh, Mr. Negative, if you time your combo right, S99. So plenty of options here since a Mystic is pretty common uh, with this placement. Uh, seven, uh, Warlock or a Confident Quake player, and then Fury, Falcon, uh, anyone really... Uh, for hit monkey as long as you can bait sp1 and prevent the evade uh, path eight probably clear the whole way or doom and warlock for storm pyramid x and then uh, maybe quake or uh, archangel for super scroll and then path nine out here kind of tricky maybe doom or maybe thing mole man or kingpin for doom there and then uh, you could use a Havoc, a Silver Centurion, or uh, a Angela for Havoc. So. And then Fury out here, probably a Mole Man um, or Hercules. Um, yeah, Hercules could get interesting, but I'm pretty sure I've seen others do it. Um, but yeah, that Fury's kind of a butt. <laughs> Uh, Mordo here, Killmonger, Archangel, Mole Man, uh, plenty of options if you can hint or if you can toss an evade counter at him. And then uh, Power Snack Penny before it, since we have White Magneto, you can use Claire or Magneto. Not obviously with the White Magneto, but that'll just be extra uh, damage. Um, or S99. So not the first time we've seen Penny here on power snack uh section one one through three mojo here probably archangel or warlock here with a white magneto pre-fight and maybe an odin um if you guys saw the video i saw you could probably use arc and just pray um or nuke it um but yeah mojo has been a pretty pretty common placement here um path one you could doom the whole thing you could use void or mr negative or s well Void or Mr. Negative for long shot, shot and then use Claire or uh, really any Mystic for CMM. Path to Archangel with the White Magneto pre-fight for Craven. You could even use Omega Red. Just be smart. He's pretty easy to fight. And then Herc, same thing. Just be smart. He's pretty easy to fight. So Claire, Doom, uh, and then Path 3 there. Claire, Doom again. Um or Symbiote Supreme, and then a Poison Immune for I-Bomb, like Warlock or Nebula or CMM. Um, so nothing, nothing standing out besides the usual Mojo placement as problematic for one through three. All right, and then moving in, on to four through six. Four, pretty easy. Shang-Chi, Killmon or, uh, Kingpin, or Mole Man, Path... Um, five, uh, Falcon, Fury, or I, or Warlock for I Hulk, and then Storm Pyramid X, Omega Red, even Doom for Jabari there, and then Path Six, yeah, pretty easy. There are a lot of counters to Dragon Man there. You could use uh, Quake, you could use Doom, you could use Magic, you could use Mr. Negative, S99, uh, Mr. Fantastic. It's power focused too, so. Dragon Man is not going to be a problem there for most. And then 7 through 9, Path 7, CGR, Archangel, just really nuke down Human Torch, and then use Mr. Fantastic, well, not Mr. Fantastic, Mr. Negative, S99, Quake, um, for that, yeah, I know it has Brute Force, but because of the class disadvantage, you won't die from it. 
um, for man thing. And then path eight, again, nothing stands out. Claire, Doom, uh, anyone for Airwalker. And then path nine out here, uh, CMM or Kingpin would be my first go-to just because of Arcus. And then you could use Rolk um, for Sorcerer Supreme. So, yeah. I hope this helps a lot of you out there, and I hope you guys enjoyed the series since this is the last war of the season. Um, like I said, if you're interested in me continuing this next season, I do enjoy it, so just leave a comment, share, like, whatever. Um, subscribe. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, this was fun. Good luck to the end of your season, and I will catch you on War Attack.